Thank you so much for watching my show, William Wallace for America. As I always promise, I try to get people informed on things that are not only going on in our communities, in our state, but our country. Yes, it's all about our country, and everybody wants to talk about saving America, but the reality is the only way that we can save, or in my opinion, America needs to be protected. You've heard me before say that. The best way to do that is to talk to organizations that are on the ground, that are fighting to do different things to protect not only freedoms and liberties, but to protect other parts of our country. With me in this interview today is Ross Thompson with Patriot Defender. Fit Defender, sorry about that. Ross, thank you so much for being on today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, William, great to see you. I appreciate you having me on. Well, I got to tell you, anytime that I hear, I see Patriot, Defender, and I see what's going on, it makes me curious. Before we get started, let's let's let the audience know what is Patriot Defender? What is your organization? So, so it's, it's, it's real simple, actually. So we are the first and only, if you want to put it this way, First Amendment insurance, right? So we, we, we are a membership organization, but we cover, we are indemnified, so which means we, we arrange for and pay for legal defense for what I call moral sense, right? So, so anything that will get you in trouble for, for standing up for your beliefs, for your rights, speaking your truth, um, speaking, speaking your, 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 your just being, being the, the person you want to stand up to and, and you, want to, you want to be that person to protect your children, to protect your business, protect the way you live your life. Um, that's what we will stand up and help you to protect. So think about it as um, everybody knows about the concealed carry insurance. Um, we do that as well. That's part of the deal. Um, that's the Second Amendment. Um, we stand up for your First Amendment rights um, so that you can go to that school board meeting. You can decide who you want to work with as a bakery or as a small business, um, you know, what you want to do or what you want to say or what you want to be as far as an employee somewhere and how you want to speak up and say, I think that's wrong or I believe in this um, and you get fired or you, you, you know, something else happens to you. We'll stand by you and we will provide that legal defense um, to protect you. You know, it's interesting. I was just talking about this over this last weekend uh, with somebody with, with a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Jim Price. I don't know if you, uh, he has, he has a Jim Price show and he was talking about uh, insurance so I got I got to find out about this. So you guys basically have have our insurance, or one of the things that you do is is an insurance that protects people who have platforms and defends their First Amendment right, if you will. Is that right? Right, but it, it doesn't mean you know platform. I mean, it could be you know the 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 real estate agent in California that stands up and says, I don't think that we want you know drag, you know. The, 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 the drag story time in my, in my school. And all of a sudden she's getting, you know, nasty grams and nasty emails from radical left and, and rabble rousers on that end, you know, to her, to her, her, her boss saying that she's a racist or she's a transphobe, you know, she's you know, transphobic or homophobic. I mean, you know, it just, it's just not right. So, so what we want to do is we want to stand up for the conservative um, citizen that is afraid now to speak up um, for things they think isn't right. And they're worried about speaking up um, because if they do, they're going to be canceled. So are you all offering, like, I know we talk about insurance. Is it more of an insurance or is it more of a, we're going to come to your aid in the time of court or help you with your messaging or help you with uh, defending yourself uh I guess in the media, how how does it work? So 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 put it this way: so a lot of people when they get their 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 carry license, their concealed carry license for 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 their firearm, they go and they get insurance, so that if they ever have to use their firearm to protect right. themselves or their family, and they have to be dragged into court, right for whatever reason that is, even if they did everything right. And they can't afford an attorney or they don't know who, you know, who to call as an attorney. These groups will step in and provide them with, a, with an attorney, will provide them with legal defense because they, they engaged in self-defense. We do that basically not only for the Second Amendment, for, 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 for those types of issues, 
but we also do it for the First Amendment, right? And and so so we believe that the First Amendment is is our first line of defense before right. before we have done. And and if we can't stand up and speak our truth and speak our beliefs and 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 be who we are w- without fear of, of 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 reciprocity or repercussions of that, well, retribution uh, for that then, matter, then yeah, retribution, yeah. You know what are we doing as Americans? So what we do is the same thing that that those current companies do for for firearms um, and 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 self defense. We do for the First Amendment, right? So so if you're a bakery or you're a candy shop or you're a wedding photographer and you say, listen, I'm a Christian. I don't believe in same sex marriage, so I don't have to bake a cake for them or I don't have to make a website for their wedding, and I don't want to do that. That's fine. Right. But but they're going to come after you for, for, for believing that and saying that. Right. Right. And so who's going to protect you when that happens? Right. So do you all offer Nobody. do you all offer attorneys for legal assistance? Do you all yeah, offer-, we offer attorneys? We, 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 we arrange for and pay for the attorneys. We also offer other other expert defenses. Right. So, you know, we, maybe we need to implement investigators. Right. Um, we cover IRS audits. So maybe we need to implement uh, accountants. Um, on those things. So, so we are a full suite, full service membership that if the government or the media or the radical left decides to come after you and cancel you or try to cancel you, we will stand up and we will provide that defense, right? Legal, accounting, expert, otherwise, we will, we will provide that for you. So do you, is, is it a membership fee, a monthly membership fee, or is it something yeah, where let, you let, all raise yeah, money? How, how does it work? It's less than $10 a month. Seriously. Less than $10 a month. And, and you're a member and we will come to your aid. And, and I'll tell you right now, William, right? So, so from our standpoint, you know, whether you're right or you're wrong, right? And most times you're right. The problem is, is that the Democrats and the radicals have, have made the process itself the punishment, right? They mm-hmm. may not win. The court may dismiss right. it. You know, you, you may absolutely, you know, have the higher ground and win, but they want the process to be the punishment. And that That's process right. can, can, can cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, and not That's only right. that... Look, forget forget that you had a hundred thousand dollars and two hundred thousand dollars, right? I mean, you know, no, no, you know, most people don't know a lawyer, much less the right competent lawyer to right. to actually defend you in these cases, right? I mean, you may know a tax lawyer, but you're talking to a civil defense lawyer, you're talking to a criminal lawyer. I mean, so so we have the lawyers, we 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 know Washington, we know the states, we have the right people, we have the backing, we have the financial backing to go to bat for you right and and i think what we want to do is we want to make patriot defender just like you know the beware of dog sign right we want it to be the the alarm sign on your front lawn right and, and i love and it you have patriot, and then you have patriot defender right so so on your small business on your truck on your home whatever it may be you know some radical left person wants to make an example of you guess what i hope you have hundreds of thousands of dollars an expert legal defense because the Patriot Defender member does. So, so if you want to pick a fight with us, guess what? A fight you got, sir. And I and like so I'm liking just, this. Ross, and, and so, and and so we want the, go ahead. Did, did you start this, Ross? Did you start this company? Yes, yes, I did. I did. When did you when, how long ago did you start this company? We started this, we, I mean, listen, it, t- it took about a year for us to put all the pieces together, but we, we launched it um, about a month ago. Nice. Okay, good. So, so, I, so obviously you've got a lot of, a lot of names behind the scenes that are backing this and helping you put this together. I'm really excited to hear about this. Let's, let's go backwards for a second. What's your background in that got you to this point? And, and I, cause I think that's important on why you might've started this business. What's your background before this? Yeah, so so you know, funny enough, I, I'm a New York City kid, right? I, I was I was I was raised in New York City. Um, I, I I saw the the airplanes flying to the towers on 9 11. 
Um, and I sat there and, and I decided I wanted to do something about that. Um, and my father actually took me down to the, 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 the site the day after. Um, he actually had a, had a dirt bike. Um, he's a, he's a Kansas boy. Um, and, and, uh, always prepared for everything. Boy Scout, Kansas boy. Um, and he took me down on his dirt bike to nine, to the, to ground zero, um, when it was still smoldering and, and it was just a nasty, nasty site because he wanted his son to see what terrorism does. Um, mm-hmm. and, and the, the terrible things that, that, um, foreign powers can do to America, foreign entities can do to America. Um, and I made made my decision then and there that I wanted to to do something to protect America and protect Americans. Um, so I went to I went to school um, to eventually um, go into foreign intelligence, um, which I did. Um, and I was overseas uh, in Africa and a number of other places for for a number of years. Um, I actually uh, my my co-founder um, we went to school together and, and we were overseas together. Um, we both work uh, in the intelligence community together, um, and and we built businesses together before this. They were all membership based businesses. We really know how to do this. We know how to how to make our customers happy and 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 build the right things in the, to the products we're offering. And we decided together one night that this country was not going in a direction that we wanted it to be. Um, and and. We thought, well, how do we how do we fix that? How do we provide something that will help every hardworking conservative Americans to stand up and feel like they have a little bit of backing, a little bit of protection, and a little bit of juice mm-hmm. and a little bit of fuel to 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 keep doing what they're doing? And uh, we came up with Patriot Defender, and Patriot Defender it- does all those things. And my founders and and, and I. We know what it's like to risk your life for America and to put your life on the line for America. And, and right now, we see everyday hardworking Americans really putting their, you know, you, you say putting their life on the line, but, you know, that's what it is. I mean, you look at a soldier overseas, you look at, you know, you know an intelligence so, officer overseas, you know, doing those things. But, but just standing up to a school board, right, or standing up to, to, to someone that doesn't respect or like your beliefs – that's putting your whole life on the line. And your policy you're, you're, protects you're, those people. So like if somebody says, so if somebody says, look, I'm just a mom, I'm a dad, I want to be able to go to the school board and say how I feel without repercussions, or if I get repercuss- have repercussions on me, I'll be able to, um, you know, I, I, I won't be able to defend myself. You're saying, hey, look, guys, if you, you know, you're a member of our organization, you buy our insurance, you'll be able to be protected if you go to the school board and say something wrong and somebody files a suit against you. Is that correct? So, so it's, it's not just if someone files a suit. I mean, you know, if, if you're, if, if you lose your job, right. I mean, we had, we had an incident in California, right. Where this real estate agent, right. Went to the school board, said what she believed in, which is a totally legitimate thing to believe in. And these radical left people that were at the school board meeting decided to start writing her employer that she was, she was homophobic, she was a Nazi, all these things, and, and they fired her. She lost her whole livelihood. So, so forget just, you know, you know, hey, it's a court thing, we're gonna sue you, we're, you're gonna sue me, all that. Like, I mean, no, she lost her livelihood because she, st- she stood up and said, I don't believe this is right. And, I mean, I, I don't and, know what to tell you. And you I mean, are and you, in. Her, and you're all coming to her aid. Well, well, this was this was right before we actually launched the membership, but it gave us full validation of of why we have this in the first place. So, so, what, so if so, she was a member, if she was a member, we absolutely would have come to her aid, and we would have come way before she got fired. So I'm going backwards again. So before you uh, before you talked about founding this, you were talking about you were doing some sort of uh, you're overseas doing something with the is it the intelligence community or something overseas? How uh, what level or what? What were you doing overseas at that time? Well, all, all I can say is, is I was I was doing foreign intelligence and I was doing a number of things and, and my partners were as well and and can't really dive dive too deep into that. But I can tell you right yeah. now that um, we're gonna we're gonna um, announce uh, in, in in the next week or so some of our other founding partners 
um, who, who are very well known in, uh, in this uh, conservative media space. Um, and they were also former um, intelligence officers um, and, and know what it's like to, to be on the, uh, the wrong end of, of the wrong. Well, my, my, and, you know, good. Well, you know, my, my point of bringing that up is, so you've seen the, the I, I want to say the dirty side, you know, if you've been overseas oh, yeah. and you're working with Intel on some level on intelligence and you're working on the, how shall I say this? You're working where freedom is under attack the most. You're working overseas where American well, living, values. Living, living, living in places that freedom doesn't exist in the first place, right? right. So it's not just protecting freedom, but you're living in places. So that you've seen, so exist. you've seen first, but you've seen firsthand what happens, what happens to the human spirit, what happens to the individual when there is a lack of freedom, and as a result, you're watching the narratives and the and, and that, that are being perpetuated in America that are not that are being used to take away people's first amendment right which you and i both agree is the precursor to taking away freedoms and liberties here in america and you saw that so to speak in the future kind of thing when you're overseas and is that what inspired you when you came back to america to start patriot defender well, William, you know, there, there's a lot of things to unpack with what you just said. And I think everything you said is, is absolutely correct. You know, I lived in okay. countries, they, they'd kill you. They'd, they'd kill you on the street without a question asked for a slice of pizza. I mean, you know, you know, that's, that's just a way, that's the way most of the world works, right? Most of the world outside of America and, you know, outside of Europe to some degree, life is cheap. There's no upward mo mobility. There's no, there's, there's no way to create a life, a dream in any real sense. And, um, and we have something very special here in America um, that a lot of people have died and fought for um, through, through decades, decades and centuries. Um, whether, whether it's, you know, the, the, the founding fathers, whether it was the Civil War, whether it was, you know, World War I, II, whether it was Vietnam, um, whether it was just the, the countless people that worked in the shadows throughout the founding. At, at the at, at the the State Department or the intelligence organizations um, to to create an environment where we actually have rights that mean something, right? And the First right. Amendment is the First Amendment for a reason. You can say what you want to say, and that should not have any repercussion. And we live in a time and in a place and in a country where you can't do that. And I can tell you right now. I've seen a lot of crazy, dangerous things. I have done a lot of crazy, dangerous things. And I can tell you right now, without, without any you know, fear of, of feeling like a coward, that if I went to a school board meeting and I wanted to say what I wanted to say, I'd think twice. I right. would think twice. And, 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 and what a place we live in where I can't go speak to, to the teachers, to the educators, to, to you know, I, I, can't, I can't go to, you know, my daughter's swimming coach, right, and say, hey, I don't think that, you know, in the locker room with the right. trans guy, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel that way. And if I have to think twice that that could ruin my reputation or my business or my, my, my method of making an income, that's a really bad place to be. And I can tell you, working in all these countries around the world, that that's how it starts, right? You start to be afraid to say this to that about this in this place in that place, and all of a sudden, you lose it all. And that's exactly what I was referring to when you, a minute ago when I said you've been to the future, so to speak. You've seen what it's like. And look, and look, I say the future, but most of those countries have never had the freedoms and liberties that we've had, that we have. They've always been unfree. They've always have not had the liberties that we've had here in America. And it's just kind of the way things are done. But it's still what's coming in the future to our country if we take away our most fundamental right of the First Amendment, of right to speech, free speech. So I get what you're saying. This is a way, this is almost like having a badge, you know, that says, hey, look, I've got this badge, my Patriot Defender badge. I'm going to be more empowered 
to say what I believe. I'm going to be more empowered to speak my mind. And I'm going to, and look, it's, it's like you can't yell fire in a, in a crowded theater. It doesn't give you the right to be stupid, but yet it gives you the right to be a real person and speak your mind in such a way that you might make a positive difference without feeling like many of us do these days. If I say this, somebody's going to accuse me of being a racist, a homophobe, a bibbit, a bigot, or whatever the case may be. Is that what Patriot Defender does? That's exactly what it does. And 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 I I my heart hurts, William, that we even have to have this conversation. That right. we even are in this spot where we have to create a private sector entity that will stand up to protect the First Amendment. And 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 for that I I am I am eternally saddened. But that's so- what we have to do. So where do you draw the line? Is it, you know, I mean, like, look, we all know free speech is, you know, the ability to say anything that you want. But we also know, as I alluded to, that free speech doesn't mean that you should be able to yell things, you know, that are wrong. I mean, let's just face it. It's common sense. I mean, like, I I might, there might be things that I believe, but I'm not going to shout it out. You know, it doesn't mean that that, that, that nobody should. But there are just some things, again, Yelling fire in a crowded, in a, in a, you know, in a crowded movie theater. Do you all draw the line at some point where you're going to say, "Look, you know, we're going to defend free speech, but if you're going to be really stupid about it, yeah, that might be where we draw the line." How do you all? How do you all tackle that? Well, we tackle it in a very simple way. We we draw on what the the Constitution says, right? We, we draw on what the Bill of Rights say. We draw on what the founding fathers put forward to us. And, and of course, listen, we don't want, we don't want physical harm to come to anybody, right? That's not what we're about. And I think exactly. as, 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 as Americans, I think we all can, we can all sit here and, and say, listen, we don't want physical harm to come to anybody. Right. It's, exactly. That's what we're about. It's not what we want to see. And if yelling fire in a crowded theater is going to bring harm to people, that's, that's, that's probably something I should not do. Right. Right. But, but, you know, all things hate speech, People call things a lot of things. I'm offended. I'm offended. This and that. I don't like that. I don't want that person working for me. I don't want that person doing this and that. And and, and at the end of the day, if it's protected under the First Amendment, right, then then it's protected under Patriot Defender. Okay. All right. So that's what we, that's what we, that's what we, you know, listen, you have the right to say whatever you believe, right? Exactly. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody or it doesn't start physical violence with anybody. And, and, and that's, that's okay. And you get a lot of these radical left people saying that, oh, well, that's hate speech. That's going to hurt somebody. That's going to, I mean, look what, look what Black Lives Matter. Look what all those guys just burn things down and hurt right. people and I've ruined lives and ruined businesses. And there's not a single one of them in jail. Nope. Nope. Not a single one no, of them in jail. Accountable at all. Forget jail. Just, account, just accountable. Right. So, so again, we don't want anybody to be hurt. And that's, that's an absolute you know, non-negotiable what we do. But if you say, I believe in that. My religion says, I don't believe in that. My relationship with just Christ says, I don't believe in that as a Christian business owner. That's absolutely 100% okay. And that's why so many people have fought for this country. And that's why we, we, we have the First Amendment, right? So, so, you know, to be afraid, to be afraid to exercise your right to the First Amendment, not the 14th, right. not the 7th, not the Section 18 of Federal Code. Right, exactly, exa- right, exactly. The First Amendment of the Constitution, if you're afraid to exercise that, America's done. I mean, we're done here. We should all pack it up, William, and, and, and go home. I don't know where home is well, now. But, well, you but. know what? It, so there, there's, there's two things I want to point out about this. The first off, the, people just think of the First Amendment as the ability to say what you want to say when you say it. And that, and while that is true, and that's probably one of the biggest meanings of the First Amendment, the First Amendment is also about sounding the alarm. If they take away your right to free speech, then you're not going to be able to say, hey, I don't like shutdowns. Hello, I don't, you know, I do not submit to these rules. Hello, I don't agree with the taxes. 
you know, I anything that involves us personally, you know, when you don't have the first bit right to say something, you can't sound the alarm either. Hey, guys, those politicians over there are going to tax us at a rate of 75%. If you don't agree to that, show up at this town hall. And if we don't have the First Amendment right, we can't let other people know of the dangers on not only freedom and liberty, tax increases, anything going on in our communities and our country, we would not be able to sound the alarm or point things out. It's not just a matter, it's not just a, an opinion, it's being able to voice it to warn others. You know, if we didn't have the First Amendment, Paul Revere wouldn't have been able to ride and say, hey, the British are coming. Second thing I like to point out when I talk about the First Amendment is this. Again, everybody thinks of the First Amendment as the right to be able to say what they want when they want. But when we, if we don't have a First Amendment right, it's, it, it, it's, it sequesters our thoughts. It, it suppresses our thinking. Because when you're told you can't say something about a topic, what you're also being told is you can't think about that topic. And if you if they tell you you can't talk about that you don't agree with uh high taxes. You can't say that you don't agree with, you know, that the uh the transitioning of boys to girls or girls to boys. If you're told that you can't say it, mentally you're being also told you're not supposed to even be thinking it. So it suppresses thought. It suppresses feelings. It makes all of us basically put into a place where we become non-thinking human beings and we're only going to be allowed to know or believe what other people say. And that's the other thing that happens if we don't have a First Amendment right. So I would say Patriot Defender not only defends free speech, it also depend, defends free thought. What would you say about that? Yeah, I, I absolutely agree 100% willing with, with, with what you're saying, right? So so if, if I, I can't have a discussion with my son about man-to-man, -man, this is what kind of man you should be, this is what kind of things you should believe, these are what kinds of things you should stand up for and protect, mm -hmm. right? And if, I, and if that conversation I'm having with my son, I can't say that in public, right. then that's a huge problem. Because the only way you get people like me and, and you get people like my partner and you get people like everybody else that I've, I've, I've worked with and served with, um, whether they're, they're, they're SEALs or special forces or, or just administrators or whatever it may be that, that are going to work every day to protect this country. They had a conversation or an experience or both with somebody at some point and said America is worth fighting for. It wasn't just that right. you're not born with America's what right. we're fighting for. You're not born with that that thought. But but there was a conversation between father and son, father and daughter, mother and son, mother and daughter, grandfather and, and grandson. I mean, go go through the list of of, of, right. of whoever, right. right? Right. And that 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 conversation held some type type of belief and value system and structure. That, that has been passed on through that family or that generation. And that is what gave that person the, the interest, the very least, and, and, the, and the, the fortitude to go, to go mm -hmm. hunt terrorists in the jungle for, for weeks. And I just had a, had a conversation with, with, a, with a good friend of mine that, 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 was, um, that was ODA and, and you know, uh, hunted Coney in, in Uganda for, for weeks and weeks and weeks, right? You know, there, there's a conversation there, and and if and if that conversation we have with our children can't be spoken out loud right. on a megaphone and be accepted by America, then America is going to lose all the protectors that she ever had. That's right. Well, and, and also and, to and, your point, and, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Everyone. So, and also to your point, which. I'll add to my list of the other points that I, that I made that I think about the First Amendment, you know, freedom of thought also. You know, if you're also being suppressed of your First Amendment right that you can't say this in public, you will find yourself talking to your son, talking to your daughter and saying, look, this is the way I feel, but 
you can't say that in public. Now what you're telling your child isn't that. And how do you expect that child to to say, I believe what you're saying, dad. And now I'm going to go protect the country that doesn't allow us to say it out loud. Exactly. That that is it. Now you're catching my point. If you if you can't say it in public, you find yourself when you do tell your children how you feel, also telling them they can't say this in public. So now they're getting doubts. Wait a minute. Well, if that, if, if dad can't say it, maybe we can't. And you know, we can't say it in public. Maybe dad's really not right. And so then that information that that set of values, that set of beliefs, don't get passed down. And when the, the, when they don't get passed down, you know, then we're another generation closer to losing all of our freedoms and liberties and the ones that are trying to take it away win because they realize they have successfully gotten rid of free speech and free thought and the passing down of information that to your heirs. Yep, and, and listen, and, and that may be great for the radical left that just want to control everybody in this country, but I can tell you right now, the minute Russia or China starts knocking on our borders, hey, who's going to fight these guys? You're going to have nobody. You're going to have nobody because all because, you can have is a bunch of bunch of offended liberals and everybody's happy about doing whatever it is, but no one knows how to, how to do anything as far as actual protection. Um, China doesn't have – China won't have – China doesn't have to take us over with guns. All they got to do is come in with Starbucks coffee, you know, and iPhones and say, hey, if you listen to us, we'll give you free iPhones. We'll give you some free some free Starbucks, you know. And, all, and, and here's the, Yeah, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Here's the list of approved things that you can say if you abide by this. You're, we're all good. And, the, and, and they'll go, come on in, come on in. So let's talk a little bit about you've got a list of things that, that, that I've noticed on your on your site that I think are important and that I think you might want to have something to say about. You talk about the weaponization of government. What what mm-hmm. does that pertain to Patriot Defender? Well, I mean, listen, I think we've seen, and I think, I think this is the beginning of this type of issue, right? I don't think we've, we've seen the full force of it yet, but it's starting to trickle into, you know, the FBI and the IRS and, and certain different, you know, state, um, state level, um, uh, you know, groups and, and, and government organizations on the state level where they start going after people they don't like. Right. And, and I think in this, in this administration, the Biden administration, right. and, you know, go back to the Obama administration, um, they start going after conservative groups uh, on, on taxes or on, Hey, you lied to the FBI. We got you. You know I mean? Right. It's, just, it's just stuff that, that would have never happened right to to their own base or to the liberals right but they're they're starting to go after people they don't like and they'll go after them for the the the, the just the minorest little thing excuse me or 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 what they do or what they do is they send irs agents into guns into a gun store in montana and get all the 4473s that has nothing to do with with that has nothing to do with irs records nothing to do with tax records and they just got the 4473s from that gun store. The IRS agents did went yep. in with guns to get the 4473s from that gun store. Has nothing to do with tax records, but they were able to get it. And that's <laughs> the IRS. Bless you. Yeah, and listen, and listen. This is how this is how you know it starts with taking away your guns, right? I mean, the you know, Wall Street Journal just put out an article the other day about. You know, the Biden administration has gone after more, more, you know, gun dealers than anybody else, um, you know, in, in history. And it's, uh, it's a little clerical error, error here. It's a little thing there. Oh, you didn't report that. You didn't do that. And listen, these people have, you know, 10 people on their staff that they're, you know, depending on to fax certain things or stamp certain things or sign certain things. And, and this is how it all happens, right? It's just, it's a slow creep on, on you know, the ATF is going to do this. You know, the, the, the FBI is going to do this. The IRS is going to do this. And we're going to start slowly um, going after people for just just BS things, right? And, right. And, 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 you know, again, no one went after the Black Lives Matter, you know, groups. Not that, at all. That, that stole a bunch of money, put a bunch of – they bought a $6 million house in, in, in California. Right. And, and, you know, that's all, that's, all, that's all totally fine, right? Yeah. Um, 
But you so, know, um, guy that you know. Good. No, no, it's 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 the little guy that doesn't have the resources that you guys defend when it comes to that. You you talk about free speech retaliation. What is that? So again, like I said, right? If if you say something on social media or you say something at a school board meeting or you know, you, you, you just say, hey, listen, you know, I take wedding photos, but I only take wedding photos of same sex couples. Or sorry, of of, of you know, <laughs> I take photos of, 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 of same sex couples, right? Yeah. And and I'm offended and I'm gonna come after you, right? And I'm gonna make your life miserable because you just got something you believe in, right? That's right. Like I mean, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's what's under attack. Right. I mean, you know, that's right. You know, uh, you know, it's, it, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. And so, the and so go ahead. No, you go ahead. Yeah. So, so freedom of speech can mean a lot of things, right? It could be, again, standing up at a school board meeting. It could be writing an op-ed in your local paper. I mean, look at the Kansas paper, right? It was raided and all that nonsense. I mean, it's, it's a newspaper. Mm-hmm. Right. And then sure. they had to go back and apologize and return some of the stuff. I mean, it's a newspaper. Right. I mean, like, where are you getting these 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 rights to go in and, 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 and do these kind of things? <laughs> so, 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 so I know the first well, the, the First Amendment basically covers your right to free speech. But the First Amendment also covers religious freedom. And you've got religious discrimination on one of your topics. And what I what and, and, and we kind of all you know, we, we all know. The First Amendment gives us the right to, you know, right to to our religion to be able to worship the way we want to worship. But how do you think that gets in the mix with your with you guys defending your First Amendment right? I mean, shouldn't everybody have the right to worship who they want and what they want? And and how does your as Patriot Fit Defender basically defend religious freedom? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, that's the same thing, right? So, so if you're the victim of religious discrimination, because, you know, you're a Christian and you and you believe in something and you don't want to do something because it affects your beliefs, right? Then, then we'll step in to protect you as well on that one. Uh, so it's, got- it's not just about what you say, it's about what you believe and who you are. And it's about your right to pursue the American dream the way you do. Listen, you can, a lot of people in America, listen, Here's the thing. Everybody celebrates, you know, our diversity, right? Everyone's going to say, oh, you know, America will celebrate our diversity, right? But the only diversity that's not being celebrated is on the conservative side, right? Right. I mean, we're exactly. very, you know, the conservative side is a very diverse group, right? I mean, that's I don't right. think anybody knows this, but, but guess what? There's a lot of different types of Christianity, right? There's Baptist and there's Methodist and there's LDS right. and there's non-denominational and then there's, there's Jews for Jesus and there's everybody else. And, and we all believe a little bit something different. And, 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 you know, I, I can't tell you, but there is so much diversity on the conservative side. And that's part of our strength as well, that we really need to kind of come together and say, listen, diversity is great. We celebrate diversity. And believe it or not, on the conservative side, we celebrate diversity. We celebrate racial diversity. We celebrate religious diversity. Mm-hmm. We celebrate you know, diversity with, hey, you have a college degree. And, and you went to trade school. I mean, there's so many different diversities that we can celebrate on the conservative side that, mm-hmm. that nobody, nobody wants to, you know, even look at. And, and, you know, we have Jews and we have Hispanics and we have blacks and we have all sorts of people. We have, we have highly educated people and we have people that are, that are not educated at all. And, and I think the one thing that we all have on the conservative side is that we all look after each other. And that used to be an American value. And, and but now you it's know what? Value. I must I must stop you on, on that thought because you're saying something, you're saying the mirror image of something that I say on almost half or more of my shows. Conservative values know no party, they know no religion. Conservative values know no race, no gender. Because what I got upset about, or one of the things I, I, I say I'm you know, upset about is that the Republican Party stole the word conservatism. And a lot of people, and, and so then the narratives make you think that conservatism is a bad thing. The narratives in the media will say, well, the Republicans are conservatives, or, you, or if you're conservative, you're Republican, and they line up together. But the reality is, when you talk about conservative values, you talk about, you know, the right to free speech. You talk about faith. 
you conservative values are about family they're about good education they're about lower crime those are conservative values and everybody can celebrate conservative values and so when we find that how good those values are they bring more people together so it sounds to me when you said it in mirror the mirror image of that thought you're basically saying look you know if we come together on these principles we can defend each other a little bit easier. Did I hear that the right way? Yeah, I mean, I think we can defend each other easier, and I think we can create a, an environment where, you know, hopefully people like me don't have to exist, right? I right. Mean, you know, what we're talking about is, is, is the conservative community as a whole not being a target anymore. And right now, we're a target. We're easy pickings. You know, we can, we can well, show that's up at the school board and that's and the down because – yeah, that, that's the that's the narratives. That's the narratives making those conservative values a bad thing. When the reality is they unite us more, and 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 that's why I like what you're saying. That you know, if if we all united more on those common core values, you say people like you wouldn't be needed, but we would have so many more people coming together and and and, and fixing our communities and fixing our states and fixing our country in such a way that the narratives would not be strong enough to divide us. We would be together in a, in a more united way against that. Is that what you're, you're, yeah, you're that's what, that's what I'm saying. And, and, yeah. and, I think that, and I think that if we had, if we had enough protection, enough backing, right, where, where the radical left couldn't just come after us so easily. And again, like I said, right, the process is the punishment, right? You can go after conservative and, and maybe you lose, maybe the conservative wins on appeal or, you know, the case gets thrown out or whatever it is, but, but that's what they want. They want to tarnish the things that we believe in. They want to, they right. want to make them, they want to make those things that we believe in hateful and decisive uh, right. and I'm sorry, divisive. And, 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 and they want us, they want to paint us in a corner. And I can tell you right now, you know, go talk to any Marine, go talk to, you know, to any, you know, army ranger, go talk to any seal, go talk to any helicopter pilot, go talk to anybody. Right. And those guys are the least racist people you're ever going to come across because guess what? Their whole, their whole battalion, their whole group is, is a bunch of just wayward kids from everywhere from Puerto Rico to Hawaii to Montana and everywhere else. Right. Right. And, 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 and you know, but what I'm saying is that when did we become the target? When right. did we become the group that is, is getting sniped out and picked off legally by the government, by the media, just because we have a belief that we've held for 100 years, for 50 years right. or 20 years? And, 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 and we're probably the most contributing to, to the economy. And, and you know we do all these things in our community. And all of a sudden, we're the bad guys. Like, so when did that happen? It happened when the narratives became as came, became, started becoming more powerful. It happened when the media and the and the far left and the far right figured out how to how to adjust the narratives in just a way to be able to raise money, get things accomplished, push agendas to be able to divide us up to be able to get away with it. Now, I want to ask you a question about about what if what if a democrat came to you what if a democrat was a member of patriot defender and said they and they said look i'm a democrat i'm a liberal democrat i believe in, in my right to say what i want to say now i've never heard of a story of a democrat getting taken to court because they they said they don't believe they, they you know they didn't believe in you know um you know traditional marriage you know, whatever the case may be, if so, if someone from the opposite side of the fence came to you that wanted to buy and be a member of Patriot Defender, would you all still defend them with their rights? A hundred percent, hundred percent. Listen again. Yeah. I, I grew up, I grew up in I grew up in Manhattan. I grew up in New York City, right? I had I had friends of of every race, creed, religion, color. Period. Right. And 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 if their First Amendment rights were being trampled on by whoever right. absolutely we would defend them I right mean, that's that's part of that's part of what we do exactly and, and, right and, and that's part of always what we should do this is this is yeah this is this again 
it's geared towards the conservative because that's who needs it the most right now. Right. But exactly. If, if there's anybody else that comes in and says, I'm going to be a member and, 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 you know, I'm, I'm being discriminated against because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a Jew or a, or a Muslim or whatever else, whatever else is that I'm, I'm over in some part of Idaho and, and they're, you know, I got fired because, you know, I was, I was praying to Mecca. Absolutely. Absolutely. And see, you answered the way you, you answered the way I thought you would. And I, and I say that because it's proof that people that, that, that patriotic people, conservative minded people that are stronger, conservative minded, will say people that are, you know, that are believing in freedom and liberty and don't believe in attacking others for their freedom and liberty. We're more inviting. We're more, you know, we're more welcoming. We're more in, in a way where we're trying to help everybody. And you've proven that by saying that you all would help somebody, you know, that's on the other side of the fence. That maybe you don't agree with them, but you agree with their right to be able to say that. And there's a lot to say about, you know, that as a, as a company, but also a, a, being able to be a spokesperson for the conservative, patriotic, freedom-loving movement in our country, and I thank you for that. Um, well, uh, listen, they, it's uh, called Patriot. It's called Patriot Shield, William, for a reason. I call it Conservative Shield. It's not called, you know, Right Shield. Uh, sorry, it's, it's called Patriot Defender, not not Conservative Defender. Right. right. And and so so you know, look look at the guys that were you know that did you know that were the Save Our Allies guys that were trying to get all the translators out of Afghanistan. Right. I mean, I can tell you right now, that's a whole group of good old boys. Right. Right. And they were doing everything they could. They were cashing in every dollar they had. They were putting everything on the line. They were calling in every favor possible to get these people that have a different skin color than they do and a different religion than they do, getting them out of Afghanistan because they were all patriots. Well, when you know, there wasn't good. Yeah, no, no, no. It's an excellent point. I know about those guys. They were getting their translators, their those families out because. They knew that they were that that they were freedom loving people, that they were you know God fearing people, even though they were different. They still were human and knew that 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 they deserved the freedoms and liberties and the protections that they were putting their 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 lives on the line for over there to help Americans. Um, you know, it's like the company Project Dynamo that I told you about earlier. Project yeah. Dynamo rescues a lot of Americans that don't look necessarily American. Their skin might be a different color. Their religion might be that different religion that, that we don't know. But they go over, if they have an American passport, they save them regardless of whether they're a Democrat, a liberal, a certain color, or a certain religion. And his team actually has people on both sides of the aisle all working for that same common mission to save Americans. I love the fact that Patriot Defender does some of that, a, a similar thing to that, where you all are just defending freedom. You're defending liberty. You're defending human rights, rights that were endowed by our creator, protected in our constitution. And that shows to me that you're putting God first. You're putting the, our constitution up next, because I believe that God put together the perfect people at the perfect time to create the perfect document that protects his blessings here on earth in our country. And it sounds to me like that's in your heart and that's what you're doing. And I can't thank you enough for that. I mean, Ross, that's, well, that, that's amazing. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, and listen, you know, and, and, and you know, I love what the guys at Project Dynamo are doing. And, and, you know, listen, I have a lot of great friends that were state department and, and did all that. And, and just, just fantastic guys that deserve so much of our, you know, of our just just love and 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 support um and you know one of those things that that um you know we found with patriot defenders that you know there's a lot of a lot of things overseas that that we can fix and we can you know just go out there and 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 do and it's it's, it's hard work and it's dangerous work and everything else um and so those guys are doing a great job but there's so much to do just right here right i mean just just right, just right here there's so many well they're they're, they're they're doing over there they're doing over there right here yeah they're doing over there you're doing here one last question that i forgot to ask you which is you talk about how you all defend people that are victims of crimes by an illegal alien an illegal immigrant 
But isn't don't we have laws on the books already to protect us from uh, from crimes that were committed against us by illegal immigrants? Yeah, you would you would absolutely think right. But but you go talk to a bunch of ranchers out in southern Texas or Arizona that have had their vehicles broken into and and their and their property damaged and. And you know, God forbid, you know, some 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 physical harm. Um, no one's looking out for them. I mean, you know, you're 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 in the wrong district. You're in, you have you have the wrong U.S. attorney or assistant U.S. attorney or, right. or district attorney or whatever it is. Good good luck getting on the docket there, buddy. So, right. So it, it's about us standing up for the government, saying, "Hey, yeah, you need to prosecute this. Here's the evidence. Here's here's the testimony. Here's." Here's all the things that we've learned and we've compiled for you so that this is a slam dunk for you and you can't ignore it anymore, right? So, yep. so those are all the things that, that, that we have to do. But you're absolutely right. You know, it should be the government protecting us. And, and that's, you know, you know, just to circle back to what we've said, the reason we started this is that, that we can't, unfortunately, depend on our government to protect us the way we need to anymore. That's right. And, 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 and we need the help of, of the, the, the private sector, uh, of our friends, our neighbors, um, and, and our community to come in, in, in unique, interesting ways to provide the means to protect ourselves against our own government. And, and, and I never thought I'd live in a country that, that I'm sitting here talking to you, William, talking about that. Uh, just, a country, a country that's supposed to protect our First Amendment is not only not protecting it, they are attacking it in a lot of ways that we don't see or um, you know, want to recognize right off the bat because we've become so blinded by the news cycles and the news stories of the day that we don't see our freedoms and liberties e being eroded right in front of us. Ross, um, how can people find out about Patriot Defender? Well, I, well let's. I, I want to give you that opportunity. You know, I, I bring you. I bring you on for a great interview about just Patriot Defender and 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 the and the freedoms and liberties that are under attack in America. And I'm finding myself wanting to be able to tell other people about your company. How can they find out about you? Yeah, so it's easy. Uh, it's PatriotDefender.com. And, and William, I can't for the life of me, you know, tell you how lucky I got to actually own PatriotDefender.com. Um, but but we own PatriotDefender.com. So you can go there. You can uh, read up uh, on what we do. It, it's a real simple, easy thing. Um, it's not complicated. You can you can enroll. You can see what we do. You can see how we do it. Um, you can see what we talk about, and um, it's uh, it's easy, easy, easy as pie. I love that PetriDefender dot com. Will that be easy, Ross? Any final words here before we before we uh, log out? Listen, William. I, I just thank you. I thank your viewers. Uh, you know, I, I thank I thank all the the hardworking patriotic Americans that you know just stand up and you know, just wake up every morning, you know, whether they want to or not, whether things are easy or not, and, and just go and do what they have to do um, to make this country function, to make it work, um, and to make it great. Um, so just thank you all. And, and um, you know, anything we at Patriot Defender can do and uh, to support you, you just, you just holler and we're, we're happy to help. Ross, I'll post the link, a link down here with the, when I post the link for the show. Thank you very much for being on. I really appreciate it. All right, William. Thank you. Thank you to all your viewers. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll talk soon. Ross, have a great night. Hang on one second. Have a great night. Everybody else, please share the interview. You're watching it on YouTube and Rumble to begin with. You'll also find it on all podcast apps. Catch me at William Wallace for America and also Wallace for America on Twitter. Thank you so much. Have a great night.